Now, as we told you earlier, right now, parts of the viewing area do remain under a flood advisory. Tonight, we have team coverage of the extensive flooding throughout our area. And we begin with News Channel 5's Kyle Horan, who is live near Ashland City, where rushing water pushed some docks and a boat right into a bridge. Kyle. Yeah, hey guys, I'm standing right next to those docks right now. If you look down this way, this is Sycamore Creek. You can see these docks as the water has been receding. You can see some of these docks are actually sitting on top of each other. I didn't even realize that until just a few minutes ago as the water starting to recede. But there was a dock much farther down that had actually gotten loose. It hit this first dock, hit the second dock, and then hit this third dock too. That's what neighbors say who witnessed it. And you can see the buckling of the, the walkway here up to the dock and, and how the, the top is kind of tilted over there, twisted steel. That, that same boat, the dock with a pontoon boat still in it, went further down Sycamore Creek towards a bridge, and then someone captured this dramatic video. Hey, I better stay back probably. On Chapman's Borough Road, water caused some trouble for locals. This area is submerged in water, causing people to either risk it or take another route. I got a dock over here on the other side. Yeah, we got a house down here. This man risked the water to check on his vacation home. It sits right next to Sycamore Creek. The water is much higher than usual. I'll go check it out and see what's going. But it's not here. On the Harpeth, high waters have caused their own problems. This morning, these six vans were partially underwater when Dog Creek raised many feet, halting business. Oh, uh, we were uh, getting all the loose boats that uh, got too deep. There's a drop off back there and the water's about 15 feet. So we had the canoe out there and get all the lost boats. Mason Rodriguez, who works for Foggy Bottom Canoe and Kayak Rental, actually swam in this. The last time it was like this, the water was up here and um, that was in 2010 during the flood. But no, it's never been like that before or after that. He says he's not sure when business will resume. If the vans are working, we'll probably be back Definitely not this weekend, probably not even the next weekend, but after that we could reopen. Our thanks to Kyle Horan. The Office of Emergency Management says swift waters are still dangerous, so be careful.